click on this and let me fill out the details so we need to fill out the name we have to do the description and we have to give the price to 12 hit enter here we have the metamask and let's simply confirm the transaction so here you can see we are redirected to the search page and if i scroll here we have the read router and you can see it's working fine loader and just wait loading 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 and let's do the console log why it's taking too much time so and here finally the data arrive you can see we have the data and the loader is gone hey all of you hope you guys are great and welcome back to this full stack nft marketplace project video so in the last video we had built the dynamic follower component and we are fetching the information about the followers and how much worth of token or nft they have so we built a beautiful system if you haven't watched that video i'll link in the description on the i button so you guys can follow that in this video we're going to build the loader okay so you have noticed one thing that when we're fetching the data from the api or from the smart contract it taking a little bit time so okay so i thought let's make a dedicated video to show you that how you can build the loader and how you can display while fetching the data okay so here i have opened the project make sure you do that and let's come up here and first thing we have to do is to come up here in the component section in the root directory in the component section and here we're going to create one folder called loader okay and inside the loader we're going to create this loader.jsx and we have to create the css file okay simply type rfc and we have to create the css file as well module.css so that's the css file we have and let's let's open this component and we have to import that component in the component.index so this is the structure we are following so we're going to import and export from here so we'll type let's say loader and that's coming from the same directory okay we have this loader and we have this loader component and now we have to simply copy and we're going to export down below okay so this is the loader component we have and simply close this one and come up here and here we're going to do the import so first thing we need the image we're going to do the internal import we need our css file so style and that's coming from the same directory and here we're going to build the gsx so let's write the div and it will have a class called style dot loader inside that we'll have another div it will have a class called style dot loader dash box inside that we'll have a another div this will have a class called loader dash box image and that will have the image so we're going to display the image so right now let's import all the images and that's coming from the image folder okay so all the images which is already provided to you guys okay so if you haven't have the images so make sure you visit dollarthusan.com and go to the blog section in the very first article you will find all the details about this project okay so here we have the images now let's come up here let's go to this image folder and actually i'm going to simply i have built this image okay loader zip i'm going to make a side by i'm simply drag and drop here so here i have the loader and now simply close this one and now we have to import the loader so here we have that index.js so click on this and here we're going to import the image so import and we'll call it let's say loader zip okay let's call loader okay and this is coming from the same directory okay we have this loader zip and now we have to export that so we're going to do it right up here so this is the loader image we have now simply cut down and here we're going to use that image so image dot loader we have the image we're going to take this all tag we'll provide this loader and we have to provide the width is going to be let's say 400 200 and height is going to be and we're going to provide this class for the css so 200 to 200 width 200 height and we will pass this object is going to be covered so that's the image setup we have now let's come back to the css and start working on it so we'll say width is going to be 100 percent margin zero auto and we'll target the box we'll say width is going to be 50 percent margin zero auto and that's looking fine we're going to say change this to margin block okay so block for ram so we'll have some space from top and bottom and this is the setup we have here now let's close this open folder and let's go to the pages go to this search pages because this is where we are displaying the dynamic data from the smart contract so we're going to add the loader here and so let's come here first thing we have to do is to import the loader and that is coming from component index so let's import that loader and here we have the loader simply copy that and that's the loader we're going to display right up here okay so here we're going to add the dynamic block so we'll say nft dot length is equal to zero okay so if we have the nft length then we don't want to display the loader we want to display this data component but if we the length is zero then we want to display our loader 
simple logic okay we'll call the loader component and we're going to simply cut this portion and paste here so this is our loader is ready okay save it this looking fine save it and come up here and let me quickly deploy the contract and re restart the application so this is nothing something this is nothing new to all of you guys okay you guys already know how to do that so let me do it very quickly let me deploy the contract and here we have the artifacts simply drag and drop the ABI of the contract and let's restart the application and let's open it on the browser and here you can see here we are and here the functions are working fine now let's connect the application we have to type our credential unlock and that's looking good let's come back to the create and now we have to create the before we create let's come back to the search and let's see here you can see the loader is working absolutely fine okay it's working fine so let's come back here let's bring this down and go back to the CSS file and here we're going to say that text align center and here we're going to add this loader box image we'll say uh, margin bottom 14 and top is going to be minus 2 num so we'll have some little space and we're going to add this animation okay so I'll call this my animation my move and it's gonna be run infinity time and here we're going to create the animation so my move and on 50 percent we want to simply rotate to let's say rotate 360 degree okay simple CSS save it and let's come down here we're going to target the image and we're going to say border radius and that's the only CSS we have to write for this loader okay save it if we come back here you can see it's in the center and it's working fine it's spinning okay it's we don't have any data that's why you can see this loader is moving around so that's looking fine let's come back and let's do the inspect element and here you can see it's working fine let's go back to this and let's try to create an NFT so before we do that let's clear the entire history of the application uh, metamax so let's create a nft and let's click on this click on this and let me fill out the details so we need to fill out the name we have to do the descriptions and we have to give the price to 12 hit enter here we have the metamask and let's simply confirm the transaction so here you can see we are redirected to the search page and if i scroll here we have the reader router and you can see it's working fine loader and just wait loading 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 and let's do the console log why it's taking too much time so it's working and let's come here let's create one more okay it's taking too much time so let's create a couple of more so let's create one more and click on cut this one and click at this here we have the metamask and let's do the confirm and here we have the loader loading error while fetching the data so simply reload the browser reload the browser and just wait okay you have noticed that we are getting an error so we have no function to catch the error so we're going to create a global system which handle all the error in our application and that's what we're going to do in the next video okay so right now just have a look so here we have this loader working fine and just wait and here finally the data arrive you can see we have the data and the loader is gone so it's looking fine if you click on this you can see this is the nft you have created and you, this is the own nft you have, don't have any nft let's come here go back to the search and we have the nft now we come back to the create and let's create one more nft okay let's give the price give the description give the price to two and let's click on confirm click on confirm transaction and here we have redirect it's loading so just wait it will take a little bit of time okay? so this data is coming from ipfs or from the smart contract so it always will take a little bit of time okay so if it's taking too much time make sure you do the browser it will work so you can see we have the data and it's working fine let's come back to the home page and you can notice one thing here we don't have that loader okay so here we are also displaying that that listed nft so we're going to add the loader here as well okay so let's come back to the code and simply close this one and go back to the index page and here we're going to import the loader simply load the loader and <laughs> what i name her huh? load the loader and import the loader so simply copy that one and that's the loader we're going to 
use it here so we're going to make that dynamic blocks we'll say nft dot length f0 then we want to call the loader otherwise we want to display the actual component so play cut and paste here save it and this would be working fine you can see we have the data it's arrived so the loader is not displaying anymore reload the browser and let's have a look so the data is there the data is here so you can't see that now let's come up here to check this let's come back and go to this nft and create a new nft so let me do it very quickly price and click on upload so simply come down click on this confirm and here you are redirect to the search page the loader is working fine now let's come back to the home page and Let's scroll down and here you can see the loader is working fine so just wait the data would arrive it will tick and finally it came working fine everything's working fine and you can see the moment i'm clicking on this card we are not able to redirect to the nft detail page okay so we have to add that event as well so it's not working we have to add the event let's come back here and let's go back to this component and here we have to wrap this entire component into a link tag okay so let's come up here we're going to take this link which is coming from next.js okay link and that's what we're going to wrap it simply call this link close this one and simply cut this part and paste down below and here we're going to provide the href path and the path we want to redirect to this let's say what is the name we have called so nft detail okay let's call it nft nf slash nft details and we want to send the entire data which we have inside this element el okay in this we have the entire data of this nft save it and this will work so now if you click on this here you have redirect to the detail page and simply close this one and here you will find everything is working fine so all the detail everything's changed you can come down and you can simply click on this and you will redirect to here okay things are looking pretty good and this component is very reusable you can use wherever you want okay so all you have to do is to plug this component and you can use in every single portion of your application so i hope that now you know that how you can create loader in react or an application like this while fetching the data so let's come back to the code one more close all this thing and let's close this one and that's the thing i want to show you let's let's uh, come back to the application so so far this is looking good and that's the thing i want to cover in this video so with that said we are done with this video in the next video we're going to build global error handling model okay so we're going to build a component which can handle all the error and display on the application so whenever a user can create any kind of mistake any kind of error error sorry or we get any kind of error from the api server that's all data we're going to display to the user on the application so we're going to build the error handling model so with that said now let's move to the next video